Welcome to another tech video. So this one's a bit different. Um, we are building a system that's going to be driving four digital signage screens. <laughs> So the signage screens are going to be used in a workshop at four different locations um, and there's going to be a real-time job scheduling application that's going to be running across all four screens. So as and when people work on jobs, um, the scheduler will move jobs between the workstations and they'll be able to see what order they've got to prepare things in. So uh, we've got to build a PC for this and we've gone for, for the case, we've gone for the AeroCool split, um, which we'll show you in a minute. For the main board, we've gone for an Asus Prime B560 Plus um, and that is going to be running uh, an Intel Core i7 uh, 10700K. Um, so that's a 10th gen and it's overclockable. We're not going to be overclocking it, but it's there if we need it. Um, memory wise we've gone for 16 gig of um, Fury, um, this runs at 3200 megahertz. Um, so powering the system we've got a Corsair RM850E, this is a gold rated fully modular power supply. Um, we need a 850 watt because we have got uh, two um, RTX 3050 graphics cards that are going to be driving all four of the screens. The fifth screen is going to be used for the workstation for the scheduler who's going to be running it on this machine. And then um, for our storage, we've gone for uh, a Patriot P310. This is a Gen 3x4 M.2 PCIe NVMe drive, and that's a terabyte. So let's get into the build and then we'll have a look at it afterwards.
Okay, so as you can see, the build we've done is Windows 10. This is Windows 10 Pro. Let's go in and have a look at our system. So we've got our CPU running at 3.8 gigahertz. This boosts up to around about five gigahertz. Uh, we've got our 16 gig of RAM. And let's have a look at our device manager. And then in here, we've got our Patriot drive, 960 gig usable. Our two RTX 3050s that are going to be driving the, um, the, the screens. And the way that we're going to connect these up is we are going from the display port connections on the GPU into um, an RJ45 converter to run around about 100 meters in some distances and then convert that back into HDMI at the other end. Nothing else to see on here really. It's a standard uh, Windows um, install. Let's have a look at Cinebench. And let's start the multi or test. Just going to shift that over and then we can run our CPU ID hardware monitor alongside it. Okay, so we can ignore the motherboard, but let's have a look at the processor. So the package temperature under load 96 degrees, so that's pretty toasty. Uh, let's have a look at our core clocks, so 4.7. And our package draw is around about 167 watts. And then we've hit 100 degrees, which is a little bit warm for my liking. OK, so that's come back down around about 86, 85 degrees. On the package. I wasn't sure about the CPU cooler, but we went for the Be Quiet Dark Rock 2. Uh, it seems to be doing a fairly good job it's going to come under nowhere near this sort of uh, stress so we should be okay running the four screens from the GPUs and the processor just running everything else so let's stop this now close that down and watch our temperatures drop right off around about 45 degrees a package uh, drawing about well, 10, 10 watts uh, and obviously our core clocks have dropped right down as it's not under load. And then in here we've got our ProSignal HDMI extender to Overcat 5 or 6. So these ones will do around about um, 100 to 120 metres. So they're fairly straightforward. You've got one module at each end of the cable. You output from this one into your screen. And then the other unit we've got we've got our input from the PC um, into RJ45, and that, as I said, will run up to 100 and about 120 meters. So that's going to be we've got four of these kits, and these are going to be driving all of the screens in the workshop. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just want to say thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.